There are hundreds or thousands of signs like this, and this is a sad reality in more than 70 countries in the world. Landmines do not discriminate. Victims can be men, women, children, people from all nationalities and ages. So at the wrong place and the wrong time, any one of us here today could be a victim. Did you know that 70% of the victims are innocent civilians and 50% of them are children? That's why they call them bland weapons, because they cannot distinguish between killing a soldier or a man. When we think about the landmine, the first thing that comes to our mind is a piece of metal that kills people when stepped on it. Well, if only, because the main intention of a landmine is not just to kill, but to create the maximum pain and suffering to a nation. For a country, it is more expensive to have a person that will never work again than having a dead one. Sadly, landmines, like other technologies, have been evolving with the past of the years, and now they're using plastics so that they're more difficult to be detected. They're even using toy shapes to attract the attention from kids. Besides all these deaths and injuries, landmines also leave huge parcels of land untouchable. All it takes is one landmine, or even the suspicion of one, to create a minefield. And once you've got this minefield, you cannot use this land for accessing water, building homes, building hospital hospitals, roads, anything. So this is entirely paralyzing a nation. Thankfully, we've been developing a new method to detect these landmines from the air. The fact of doing it from above the ground entails no explosion risk and to cover much bigger areas. This is what, a, what an animal detection squad can cover. This, what a human one can cover. But this one is what a drone can cover. We can go much faster with a drone. And here comes the, uh, the million dollar question. How can you ever detect a landman from a drone, right? So, turns out that most of the landmines were planted many years ago. And on the other hand, these landmines contain some chemicals inside. So with the pass of the years, these chemicals begin to decompose this landmine, creating some leakings to the exterior. Then these chemicals affect the vegetation in a way that can be observed through the near-infrared sensor. Secondly, uh, landmines, especially the metal ones, and soil have different thermal inertias. This means that when the sun is hitting the ground, both landmine and soil get heated up at different paces. So this can be observed through a thermal sensor as well. Finally, with the visible, we can spot car tracks, wire fences, and other elements that lead to indicate the presence of a landmine. A piece of evidence on a single band may indicate nothing at all. However, if this evidence is repeated in all the bands, may indicate high chances of landmine presence. The problem we're facing is enormous. Each red dot here represents one million landmines. So today, year 2018, we've got 100 million active landmines in the world. And it's getting worse, because every year they are planting two new more million. And now do you want to know how, much, how many of them are getting cleaned? Only this green parcel, 0 0.1 million. Let me repeat the numbers. We've got 100 million plus two new more million minus 0 0.1 million. So if we keep this tendency, in five years, we're going to have something like this. We're, go we're going to have more and more landmines. So this is showing us the need, the urgent need, of finding a faster solution in order to reverse this tendency. And drones seem to be more than promising in this sense. Best case scenario, by the time two new more million are planted, all these could be mapped. Next year, all these. And in five years, make an outstanding dent in the number of minefields mapped. How did we get started with all this? One day, we received an email from the European Space Agency telling us that they were running a program in Bosnia-Herzegovina for um, helping the country getting rid of the landmines. However, they figured out that landmines, which are this size more or less, are too small to be observed from a satellite in space. So they figured out that they needed something at lower scale. And drones seem to be, again, very promising in this sense. So we happily accepted the challenge, but th at this time, we had never worked with landmines before. We had never seen, never touched a landmine before. So we had to resign to do it ourselves. First thing we did was designing it. Then we 3D printed it. We added similar chemicals to the real ones. And we spread them through our drone center we've got in Barcelona. Once we, have, we had accumulated enough expertise in this subject, they assigned us this area, clo close to Sarajevo. Um, 
And they told us that apparently here, 25 years ago, there was one of the biggest battles in the Bosnian War. So this place was totally infested with landmines. We went there, that's what we found, anti-tank landmines. We saw some of them partially exploded, unexploded ordnance, derelict houses, and then here we stopped and we asked, if the war is over, why aren't families coming back to the houses? And then they asked us, asked that, we an they answered us that during war, when the troops conquered a settlement, they would surround the house with landmines to make sure that these families would never come back again. So after seeing all this, we finally waited for optimal weather conditions and we took off. We took off with a plane that we designed and manufactured in-house and that was equipped with a parachute for being able to land anywhere with no need of using a, a runway. After landing, we did the post-processing of the images and we generated these photo mosaics. As you can see here, it was a very relaxing flight. We didn't have any pressure. We had only had six cameras recording everything with it. Um, but everybody was very happy with the results. And the European Space Agency invited us to continue doing these campaigns every summer. Now, of course, drones are still not as reliable as conventional methods, but we believe we must push the boundaries of what is possible in the coming years to make it more and more effective. Our final objective is to have a landmine detection pack that includes a drone, a 3D printer, sensors, and being able to deliver this package to all the affected countries in the world. In two and a half hours, there's going to be a new victim from a landmine in the world. There's still so much we can do. There's still thousands of lives to be protected. Let's do this. Thank you very much.